Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me back here in Hearts of Iron 4 by Blood Alone DLC of course in which we're playing as everyone's favorite Italian nation Itali but we got to talk about disposing Mussolini because we got rid of him the time has come to oust that Benito guy from power he's proven himself to be an incompetent leader that has dragged our beloved Italy through many unnecessary hardships and tested his resilience well past the breaking point while the shadow might loom large over us for some time to come, Italy and its people will prevail, and we have already gone ahead, and we're going to finish up Italo Balbo. We need a capable military leader to guide us through the turbulent times that lie ahead. Italo Balbo is not only a military leader, but he's also an aviation hero that has undertaken several diplomatic missions and has governed over living possessions quite effectively. Surely he will improve the meager state of our military is in and bring glory to Italy. So Mussolini is removed from the national balance of power. Italo Balbo is now added in, and he's removed as an advisor of field marshal, which kind of sucks because I did get him earlier. So we get more more sports, more stability, some more political power, and friends are running out tonight. God dang it! Just because I get some Italo guy here, stop the squandering. Consolidate rule. Security militias. What do we get? Oh, also, it looks like this. Ooh, I was gonna put this portrait, this aviation hero portrait, on my thumbnail, but it was so hard to try to edit on him. But you know, whatever. Um, so we can't get this guy. I was using him earlier. Point three is really nice. Air experience gain. Air superiority. It's only five percent though. 10% mm, experience gain. Yeah, that's not bad. Point three is still pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. Ground support. I do like air superiority. Uh, but experience. I like experience. So I do like what Paradox has done. In, like I said, like I said, born in the past, removing the other pass. So it's just a little easier to get to. So um, assault battalions. We have done before technically as well. Purge the party. Recognize a reorganize a party. Uh, we can't quite do this, so. Uh, I would like to go to a little bit more war. So we aren't historical, of course, but obviously with the Taliban leading, we're not historical. We could guarantee the independence. Negotiate Italian claims. Ratify the stress affront. Italy's destiny. Puppet. Oh. Spotting speed? Not bad. Joint military programs. The Eastern threat. Every state in the Black Sea owned. Get a claim on, owned by the provisional Russian government. Eastern threat. You know, I still want to do Italian irredentism. I think with us being who we are, the Pact of Steel is not bad to do, remove Guido Jung, but we're probably going to go with Italy first. We get our own faction, which would be pretty nice to do. Um, I would like to capitulate some people more quickly, like, such as France, which is why I converted all of our mountaineers to pair droppers, but still. Uh, becomes active. Potential allies in the Balkans might not be bad. Pressure other governments. I just kind of want to take them out. I do want to do Italy first. Potential allies. Well, I already, t I already killed Greece. I think we're going to go so uh, Balkan ambitions. Potential allies in the Balkans is not bad, but... I think if I choose Dino Grandi sometime, which I know I will, I'll probably go him and do that path, but Balkan ambition. So I'm going to expand the Italian borders east towards Slovenia, and more importantly, the Dalmatian coast. We'll emphasize on the Venetian cultural heritage of Dalmatia, make the world see how the Venetian government was only beneficial to the Dalmatians in the past, but also very much accepted by them. Because they're only guaranteed by Romania and Czechoslovakia. Which is not bad. Um, if we could, actually. I do want to take these guys out, too. But now that they're allied. And they're, they are, yeah, they're the allies, which sucks. I mean, if we can move fast enough. I don't have enough transport planes, I think, just yet. And we all need air superiority as well. So we do need some fighters. Um, but like I said, we do have some comms to go through as well. Uh, basic plus air support, basic air support frame. Medium, medium, so like that. Interwar, huh? We research basic small airframe. Basic small. Also, if I do things incorrectly, please let me know. I'm totally fine with learning about what I should do in terms of how to make good planes. Actually, defensive armaments, light turret energy cost, special module floats, die breaks. Well, this wouldn't really help us out that much. Electronics, bombs, well, maybe I'm wrong too, but from what it looks like, not so much. Fire weaponry, four light machine guns. Double up on the light machine guns. There you go. We're going to need quite a few of those things. How many more military factors? We should probably stop producing so many millies. Don't get me wrong, I love the millies, but, you know, whatever. And three more divisions are nice. You guys can go over there. Um, well, we do have another border down here as well, which is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, we're those Zaras, you know, so be it, whatever. Anything outdated besides ships? Nope. Which is good. We need a little bit of rubber. 
Uh, we're going to grab one thing of rubber from Brazil because we like Brazil here for now. Manage town occupation, dispersed industry is very good. It is only 1937. Um, nice. Uh, bad in the naval treaties? Eh, we're okay. After our Balkan ambitions, we'll probably go Italy first. Italian erudentism. Which I do like. Just for World Goals Times, just for World Goals Times, I went at war with a major Spanish Italian alliance. The Balearic Islands owns them. Huh. Well, so be it. Stop the squandering, probably. Ooh. A Bayerbilly fight. But I do want that at the research slot as well, which is super important to get, so. But you know, technologically advanced nations such as ours, there's always a need for more engineers. We've identified our universities as the biggest bottleneck for educating enough new experts to keep our country competitive. Which would be nice. Ministry of a in Africa, which I think I read earlier, but if you want to read this again, please go right ahead. I do want to preserve army traditions as well, though. Many ideas floating around these days about new ways to wage war. Well, some of these probably have some merit. The foundation of any successful army is not changed since the days of Caesar. Discipline, individual courage, and capable leadership, of course. Um, since we're here, air phone is going through. Um, so we got some comments to go through as well. So jazz, I can't wait for Penelope's web update for TNO to release and watch Mr. Mocha Lover plays Baldo. You betcha! I'm, I can't wait till the next. I always can't wait till the next TNO release. I love TNO so much. Um, so it says, yeah, still waiting for the Road to 56 to hurry up and update to really get into Italy. Um, for some reason I can't stop playing without much climate troop text focus and other stuff. Yugoslavia request the air of sailplanes. A uh, sale of airplanes. Realizing a strategic weakness, the Yugoslavian Air Force has initiated a crash program to modernize and expand its forces. Significant mon money reserves have been set aside to cover the purchase. A commission is traveling around Europe looking for new sources of fighters and medium bombers, given the urgency of the issue. The Yugoslavians have insisted on an immediate delivery of transport planes directly from the producer. So, we're going to have that research slot, which is nice. I do want to do more of the stuff here. We, we, we really need to do purge party, so. Balance power is on the right side. And I do want to go with uh, getting the Black Shirt's loyalty because I will do a greater purpose later on, probably. Um, I'm going to do Dino. Spread the Eagle's Wings. Italian Hegemony, which is nice, too. So we're going to keep going on this way as well for now. But we do have to stop the squandering eventually. Oh, we can't do Italy first. Oh, crap. I only own Albania and North Slovenia. So uh, For too long, Mussolini has been spending money and resources uh, Italy can ill afford. It's time to put an end to these reckless squanderings. We need rain in our expenses and focus on our capital improvement in other areas. So let's we get to an ultimatum. Let's go and save anyways, just real quick. As I do see, we have made another battleship, which is nice. Are oh, we still volunteers down here? I forgot. I literally just forgot about these guys. How can you not take these guys out? Like, bro. Let's go in, man. Like, the Spanish Civil War is literally almost gone and done. Demand Dalmatia. Italy makes demands, but when a puppet of Italy are joining the blank, they can still refuse. What did they do say we demand Dalmatia? Um, maybe we get Dalmatia. That's not bad. Are they guaranteed by anybody besides these two? No? Let's try it. Spanish Republicans were defeated. Nice. Got some of these guys too, which is good. They accepted our demands. Oh! Uh, Prince Paul of Yugoslavia has gracefully accepted our demands for occupation in Dalmatia and subsequently ceded the territory to us. They would rather appease us and stand against us, which would only help us uh, hope for the earliest goals in the Balkans. Wow. I don't have a core on here, but you know what? Wow. Thanks, Yugoslavia. Thanks for reducing your own power for us. Impressive. I know I can send an uh, ultimatum to them too, so. We can do that as well, but I definitely do want to do Italy first. Oh, Bulgaria is just going to join the faction no matter what. Our glorious duchy will never play second fiddle to Hitler. We must see the lessons of our Roman Empire. Teutonic interference in Italian affairs never ends well. And of course, Italian or Albanian occupation. Albania paints is an easy target for our troops to occupy. We are unlikely to be met with much resistance. We must show the world the mind of the t Italy and the glory of the past. But other comments include. Can you do Tino Guangdong as Morita once it uh, releases? Sure. Um, someone says, Our glorious Italo Balbo restore the Roman Empire. Someone says, mm, Yes, Balbo, lore, momentum 100. Someone says, Hey, thanks, man. You're, you're all right. I don't care what all those other guys have to say. And uh, someone says, I hope you do the Pope path and go into Holy War. 
I would like to, and we will eventually, but not for this campaign. Eventually, we will do the Pope Path, but I want to I give some time for it, because I know a lot of people have already covered it, and I want to do some other routes that people might not have. Uh, oh, yet. no! The German Reich has declared war on Czechoslovakia. The Albanian authorities have agreed to our demands, and King Zog has been forced to resign. From now on, until the end of time, Albania shall be Italian. Oh, attention, 50%. Oh, and look at that. That's beautiful. As we are really getting ready to invade the good old Yugo boys. Um, establish the Regno de Albania. We could. I really don't want any puppets, though. But then again, Gustav was on the core of Albania. Hmm. Albanian North Epirus. Um, Gustav was not a state. We could annex him later. The core of Albania. We want to divide them up anyways. You know what? This is the one I'll do. I do want to send an ultimatum, but we are still just flying on them, so they are a bunch of commies over there, but I do want to establish African and Oriental Italia just to see what happens, so. Send more men. Get less resistance and more weapons. And claim the Montenegrin throne. Well, well, that's a lot of political power. Let's do that one first. Now we have a colonial management. Let me do an entente, check on taunt. We'll see what happens. Oh, but they just gave us Montenegro and Crown. Joseph Prostito has declared that they have no reason to resist their will, and the territory of Montenegro will be transferred to us at once. Today is a good day for the Italian nation. Perfecto. Jesus Christ, we already link up all the way over here. I was gonna, you know, pair drop into them. And I probably still honestly will. But still. Very nice. I mean, this is the easiest way we've taken out Yugoslavia so far, so. Just got a lot of political power. Disband the regulars. Italian East Africa. So I've not seen this nation yet. Love by Prince Amadeo. Non core manpower. More weekly manpower. Consumer goods, factory repair, speed damage, gears goes down. I'm, I wanted to see if they had a unique focus tree, which is just disappointing that they do not have a unique focus tree. At the same time, hopefully they go with uh, nationalism focus. And by doing this, they get one, two, three, three millies, two civvies, infrastructure, okay, four civvies maybe, a couple research slots, so hopefully they do okay. In the meantime, we can only get 1.66 political power every single day. Our resistance goes down. I want more compliance. I'm not concerned about uh, resistance at the moment too much. I'm more concerned about compliance. Oh. Oh, we were just fine on them. I still want to Slovenia, though. They're guaranteed by these guys still, so be it, so be it. And we're just gonna wait here. Just to see what happens. Um, chips would be nice. Well, they're slowly pushing through Romania and Hungary and whatnot, so. Well, we do have Greece, so we do have the coast all the way lining up through here. We have these guys as well. The allies are looking a little bit thick. But it isn't not looking too bad. Axis doing okay. The Soviet bloc versus the provisional Russian government, they're struggling a whole bunch with each other. My goodness. And uh, other than that, it's not bad. It's not really too bad at all. Um, I do want to do establish a government del Montenegro, probably. But at the very least, establish a del Albania first. Wait, we can... Republic of Montenegro becomes Rax Commissariat of Italy. Yeah, definitely does, because I want Kosovo to get become a core, so we'll probably do that one. Preser we're preserving our traditions, which is super nice. And, uh, yeah. I like to consolidate power, but Italy first. Aguilas Duce will never play second fiddle Hitler, of course. Uh, Italian Irredentism, which would be bad. Italian Irredentism has become increasingly popular, or increasingly aggressive after the Great. Um, well, look at that. War thanks to a fascist regime. It's time for Italy to reach its natural borders and unify all the territories that rightly belong to the Italian people. Support Albanian, uh, irredentism. Sure. We must try to legitimize Italian rule over Albania. Supporting Albanian irredentism in the Kosovo and Epirus regions and even further will surely win a significant public support from the local population and provide us with an opportunity to further expand our sphere of influence. Now, depends. Are you, oh, you're war with, oh, you're war with all those guys. I don't know. We'll see. They did go to war with those guys, and these guys are only guaranteed by it. We'll see. I kind of want to go to war by ourselves, but let's do this one. Hey! Welcome back. Teflik Mborja. A fascist lawyer. More, way more political power. That's not bad. Um, influx of Italian settlers, which is very good. Let them continue working on their generic focus tree as well. Neutrality focus. Oh, God. 
I hope they do interventionism. So, that'll be good. In the meantime... There goes those guys, not bad. Spend some regulars, I really don't care about the regulars at all, to be honest. Division of Pine. Uh, how many more days do we have to wait? Just a few Oh more. no, it's that time! You, me, and uh... Well, I guess getting more like an organization for our soldiers, but uh... Going in, have a little bit of fun with them, they're Yugoslavians. Uh, they gave up Dalmatia, they gave up Montenegro, which I did release as a puppet just because, you know, I figured why not, screw it. They wanted to deal with the resistance, they have only three divisions, but whatever. They have 149 guys in reserve. But uh... Yeah, screw it, why not? Can we just go in, see what happens? So now we're fighting these guys, too. Now they're doing the check on town, which I kind of figured. Hey, we actually landed. Look at that. Matabor. Now this front's completely opened up with them, so. And every time we do the, um... What was I going to say? Oh, good God. Um... Pair drops? Well, let's see what happens. Probably not very superior here. Yeah, we don't. Dang it. Or do that. Probably stop, should stop trading your ships too. Calling our puppets too. Really hit them from every angle. Well, is that an encirclement down here? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. You do not have enough planes, man. Oh, well, duh. There you go. That's a wee bit better. Nice. Going up through there if we can. Should be able to pair drop a little bit more from now. For now. So the Union is still in its war. Holy crap. More fuel refining would be nice. Got some more extraction as well. It'd be decent. Got some of that too. Hey! And this would be good too, but we don't have enough political party up. Hey! We took no sad too. Now we could just like walk into here. Sculpture. Whatever it is, it'd be nice. Um, let's go four, six, eight. We already have something like that. Are we grouping? Sure, why not? Let's go on those paratroopers, man. Come on. There going, huh? Good. Good, I'm glad they seek distance. Makes them just a little bit weaker, but we do have five research slots, which is very nice as well. Um, military, please, reconjure, why not? Uh, war bonds be good. How much resistance do they have down here? Oh, we can't even tell. We had to click on them manually. It's not bad. They're still doing fine down there. Not super concerned. So, after this one, uh,. The Azure Cito one. Yeah. When the leadership comes to new insights, it's clear to anyone that actually bothering to look to our triumphant army he certainly has areas which it still could improve. Uh, with the results or recently freed resources, we should invest in more training and reorganize our forces so that nothing can stand in their way. Uh, Super Cito. Coordinating a large army is not an easy undertaking. We need to create a structure for a supreme command which can guide and support the forces in the field. For defense. Slowly pushing through. And now Yugoslavia go bye bye. Nice. If I could land Bucharest, that'd be great.
Go on in and have a lot of fun with them. Nice. Alright, so that's the case. That is Kosovo. And Albania must have that. And you guys come up here. And we're going to attempt a pair of draw. So, you two. Good. Um, I'd like to get to the coast if possible as well, but I know our range isn't very good with these guys. We'll see. You'll probably just paratroopers to try to be the UK as well. More score participation, 50%. 43% still not bad. They can have Czechoslovakia. They can have most of Romania. I just want all of all Yugoslavia for us. Keep getting some roads up too. Fuel-wise, we have none. And they've lost a lot. German Rug has lost quite a few guys. We're gonna need a bit more fuel. Um, Albania. I don't want to increase their uh, autonomy. Nice. Let's go and get some more output too. That'd be nice. Anything else? Ooh, train regulators? No, we're good. I take a couple guns over there. It's fine. It's whatever. It is what it is. Um, still doing okay. I should push it in a little bit too. I do want to chuck these guys over there, but. Bruh. Come on, Dutch boys. We bit more fuel, yeah. It'd be nice. It'd be very, very, very nice. You know, it'd be even nicer taking that mountain tile. Alright, so at this point, I'm not sure where the divisions are at. We're gonna save real quick. We're gonna pair drop into enemies and whatnot, so. Try it. Crap. Well, yep, we're trying. You're gonna die if you don't make it anyway, so. Oh, they did do force defense, that's unfortunate. We're slowly beating them, though. Come on. Slowly keep moving around them. Reorganizing it is good. Actually, very, very good. Ooh. Sure, these guys can go over there, but they can't go over here. As soon as they're done, how many more days do they have of defending territory? That sucks, bro. Break over to the capital. Can't win every single battle. So be it. We actually have enough guns? We do have enough guns. No, we lost it. Let's go Bucharest. Dang it, you know, these are so costly to use sometimes. Um, they're, only, they're not very good, so. Can we do that at least? No? Okay. Can I throw in now more? A little more staying power, maybe? No? Okay. You're sure why not. And happy 939, everybody. Brosives, come on. Give us that fuel. Good God knows we need that fuel. Uh, we'll throw it there too. Get we're going to infrastructure, civvies, millies, all the good stuff. 
Um, God dang, that war is still going. How? Where are their divisions, man? Czechoslovakia is really doing a lot of the work. We're doing a lot of the work. Transports, eh? Let's see, let's just go back here. Sort of heroism, unified greater Italy. I mean, we're grouping. I do like the infantry one a lot, so we do have a lot of infantry, so might as well, right? Right. And they're dead. I can still join the faction, but I'm still waiting for now. 51, 41. Czechoslovakia needs to die. How is the Reich struggling this much? I do not understand. Army leaders? Armies must always be led by the most capable officers available. It is imperative that we create a city flow of new and competent officers to maintain the advantage. Finally, they have literally nothing else. Uh, Fiocchi Muzioni. Fiocchi has long supplied our ports with high quality ammo. A safe supply of ammo is vital in the wars to come, so we should ensure that the Fiocchi works are up to the task. Absolutely. Consolidate power. Our grip on the party on this country at large remains weak. We must uh, uh, consolidate what power we have to bolster the regime by showing the public that we are strong and dependable as ever before. I'm going to wait for this one, though. I want that option that Germany wants us in, so. That's literally just what I'm waiting for. Integrate support. Yeah, I like support some companies. Oh. Nice. Honestly, this war's not going to last too much longer, hopefully. The Germans should have them, but we could always, man, yeah, maybe we could try to pair drop from here and do there. Kind of doubt that would work, but you never know. No, we might be able to get the And this we'll is pretty much where we're at. Mm, we only have five divisions left. Because we actually successfully invaded <clears throat> pair drop into Prague and Tabor and Birno, but we did lose one division in uh, Tabor, which does kind of suck. But it is what it is. But we're gonna go and grab another of one of these, which would be nice. Um, but yeah, this is the piece deal we got. We got. We got the fuel. I mean, we got we got the fuel from these guys, which was freaking fantastic. I don't know why Germany won Banat and Bessarabia and Southern Bessarabia, but they've gone to war with the Kingdom of Poland. It is what it is. The this is taking freaking forever for over here too. But unfortunately, America has joined the Allies, so I want to invade the Turks as well. But we're working on that. But we're doing Italy first, of course, and then Italian Um War with the UK, maybe get a claim on every every single one of these. That's not bad. The decaying British Empire has cages in the Mediterranean will never voluntarily give us the keys. We'll strike at the English as soon as the time is right. Huh. Albanian fascist militia? Create a new wing of Italian blackers in Albania, making sure to recruit not only Italian colonists in the country, but also Albanian volunteers. We'll consolidate power, we might do that for sure. We do reorganize the Reggio Esercito. Something bad either to do. Oh, yeah. Expand the Campania Alto Avio Sahariana. The Alto Saharan companies of Libya have proven to be quite effective when combined with their own reconnaissance aircrafts. Expand on this is now make our ports even more formidable and put the fear of God on our enemies. Combined land and air warfare. How the Regio Natica assist the Regio Arsacito, as demonstrated the capabilities the Italian military possesses. There's still room for advancements to so deepen this cooperation with devastate our foes in the battlefield and bring eternal glory to Italy. But if you enjoyed the second episode of this campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And see you tomorrow when we go to war with the Republic of Turkey, hopefully. And see what the Germans will do, especially against the Allies. Thanks for watching. Have a great, tremendous rest of your day.